Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another moving vlog. I moved in here on Tuesday and today is Saturday. I think the last day that I unpacked anything was Wednesday. I honestly just had way too much work to do. Work was the priority. So moving, unpacking, doing all that stuff was put on the back burner, unfortunately. So today we're gonna start unpacking some more because it's been driving me insane living out of all these boxes. This is empty. The main things that I want to unpack today are my closet and my bathroom. I've been wearing the same like four or five pants because that's all that I have that's unpacked. So I really want to do my dresser, my pants, and my clothes and do all that. That is like the number one thing that I want to get done today. It's been very frustrating not having that stuff unpacked. I also have a bunch of like decor and other stuff like that that I need to unpack. That's not the priority right now, so I don't get to it. I don't get to it. We can just do it another day. Bathroom and closet today is the priority. So let's start. This is the current state of my bedroom. What I really want to work on right now when I talk about closet is my dresser right here. I want to start unpacking all my clothes in there. I have everything packed in this suitcase and then there's another suitcase in my closet. I also have this bin right here of just like random stuff. I think a lot of my organizers for my drawers are in here. Yeah. These little things I got from Ikea. There's a ton of these in there. I also have another box in my bedroom. I feel like there's boxes everywhere. I'm just living with a ton of boxes. I don't know where I want to begin. I think I want to begin by getting these organizers out. They're not wanting to come out. Let's start putting stuff away in my dresser. into everything we're heading off into my closet i don't know where i want to store these suitcases when i'm done with them they're obviously right here right now but i'm thinking maybe up here but this suitcase right here has a ton of clothes and stuff in it ow 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 it's kind of heavy too so we're just gonna wheel this over into my bedroom say hello to all the boxes that i have in my bathroom that i need to unpack today we'll get there Okay, so here's the issue. It's not really an issue, but it's a decision that I need to make. In my last apartment, my closet had a bunch of shelves in it, so I put my jeans on those shelves, but this apartment doesn't have shelves in the closet. So I was, so I decided that I need to hang up some of my pants in my closet, and I was debating either doing my jeans and my shorts or my leggings. So I can put either my leggings in here or my jeans and shorts in here. I'm kind of leaning towards hanging my jeans because I think that the jeans would just take up way too much space in here. And in here, I can like easily see all the leggings. Jeans, I feel like they're so bulky that I'll really only be using the ones on the top and not be able to see the ones on the bottom so I think maybe hanging them will help me display them more so I can wear more of them. I don't know about you guys but I have like two pairs of jeans that I wear and the rest I rarely ever wear because sometimes I forget I have them because they're just like at the bottom of the pile so I think I might do that. So we're gonna have to bring this back into the closet but I still have all of this stuff to unpack. So I have like some pajama shirts in here. I have some like nicer skirts and stuff like that. Some nicer shorts and like some loungewear. So let's unpack that in this bad boy, my dresser. And then we'll head back into my closet and hang up those jeans and see how that goes. still is a lot of room in my dresser so I'm sure I could make space for the jeans if I wanted to but I think that I want to try hanging them we'll do that for a little bit see if I like it and then if not I can just move it around let's go in my closet we are now in side closet I'm trying to decide where I want to hang them in my closet I have some pants right here but that is kind of close to my laundry basket I could also put my laundry basket there I think I might put my laundry basket there because I'm not planning on keeping my suitcases where they were right there so let's just move some things around
We are sitting in my closet still. Here's what I did. I hung my jeans. I hung them in like two categories. I like to color code my closet because it's just my brain. I did like colorful denim or like regular non-sander type of denim and then I color coded my regular denim here. I have a lot of pairs of light wash jeans. A lot. So I was hanging my short. That's the next thing that I needed to do and I didn't really love it hanging like that I don't think that looks good. I think that's gonna fall off So I was watching a tiktok video and I think that i'm gonna try to hang them like this where you fold them And then they hang like this What do we think? I don't know if I love that I think I might want to do it the other way. If you guys have any suggestions on how to hang shorts or jeans that's different than the way that I'm showing right now, let me know. I'm always open to suggestion because I feel like I've seen different ways of hanging jeans as well that might be more efficient, but it looks like this is the way to hang them. I've also watched videos that you're supposed to fold your jeans with the pockets facing out and not like this. There's more fabric in the butt area right here. So if you fold them out, it doesn't like crump or like bunch up whereas if you fold them like this it all kind of like bunches up in the back but also at the same time I'm like I don't know if I want to do that because I want to be able to see what they look like because at the back you can't really see what they look like you can see what the butt looks like but I'm more focused on the front so I think I might fold them like this even though the TikTok that I watched told me not to I think I'm not gonna follow it most jeans look the same from the butt but not from the front okay I think this is what I'm gonna do oh wait but now that doesn't work oh no yeah it does yeah it does ignore me Everyone, ignore me. So this is how we're gonna hang them. What do we think? Do we like this? Do we not like this? See, it does bunch in the butt. So there's gonna be like creases, but that's okay. I'm gonna finish doing this now. But I've said this like a hundred times. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. I'm always open to suggestion and how to make organizing the most efficient way possible. <laughs> Yikes, if I thought I had a lot of light wash denim jeans, the amount of shorts that I have, there's some shorts I didn't even know I had. They're probably at the bottom of the pile in my last apartment, but this is making me want to go through these and maybe donate or sell some of them because why do I need like this many pair of shorts to look the exact same? Like why? I will say some fit me better than others and that's probably why, but I think that I need to space these out a little bit because I think they're kind of getting too far in the back. That stuff back there is stuff that I want to sell or like list on Poshmark and try to move these a little bit so there's some more spacing because I'm just afraid the stuff that's like far in the back I won't see and I won't wear. Wow, crazy. I had no idea I had that many jean shorts. Time to see if my suitcase will fit up here. I just put the small one inside the big one. We'll see. I'm gonna set you up here. Oh, look. I don't know if you can see. It's, I'm just... <laughs> It's so tall, I can't see. Uh. Oh, yes. Whoa! Believe it or not, I am sweating. There's no air vent in here, so it's kind of, it's kind of toast. Part of me, it kind of bothers me that it's facing the back way and not the front. I'm trying to set if I want to turn it. Nah, I'll let it bother me. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna move these. We're gonna put this one here. Will that bother me with the hangers or should I just move the hangers over a little bit? We'll take this one and move it over here. Oh my God, I'm so, we'll move that there. I'm annoyed with myself because I have this that I wanna put in those suitcases, but I have makeup and stuff that I need to unpack. So I'm gonna have to get this down again. <laughs> I'm just gonna move these over. I have a bunch of these white hangers and none of the other hangers in my closet are white. So that's why I use those for the pants. Kind of considering if I wanna change those to white as well. That's a thing for another day. <laughs> it's the little details, but I have too much to do to really care about that right now i mean i am moving all my hangers over i mean i could do this another day too what do we think guys what do we think next up is the shoes so i have all my shoes in here but i don't want to keep them in here i think that i want to lay them out around here i just don't want them to touch my clothes so i think right here is kind of the only area that i can lay out my shoes <laughs> Okay, let me know what you guys think. I have the shoes that I wear most frequently down here easily to reach, but then the shoes that I don't reach for that often are up here. So I have like cowboy boots and tennis shoes I don't normally wear, and then I have like some kind of heels that I don't typically wear <laughs> on a daily basis, obviously. Also, that purse is fake and it has all my other purses in it. So if I need to reach it, I can just kind of get it. I was considering getting rid of the stool. I got this my freshman year of college, but it's actually turned out to be very handy because I can step on it to reach the stuff up here. And then inside here, I have a bunch of like camera equipment and 
and all that stuff. I wouldn't say my closet's 100% done, but I'm pretty happy with it, so I think we can move on to the bathroom. This bathroom is quite a bit smaller. Do you guys hear the person that lives above me? I don't know if they're wearing like high heels. It always sounds like they're wearing high heels. Anyways, beside the point, this bathroom is quite a bit smaller than my last bathroom. My last bathroom basically had like double the amount of storage that this one does, which is fine. So I just need to be a little more efficient with how I unpack and store things. But what's really nice and what my last bathroom didn't have that I'm really happy this one does. So this is my closet right here. And then behind this closet door, I need to move this out of the way. There's stuff everywhere. It's hard to move. I have this linen closet, which I'm really happy about. So I have some toilet paper there. I think that I want to put all the products that I use on a daily basis in here. So that is really nice. I'm really happy to have this. But I also have so much stuff in here. <laughs> most of the stuff is in bathroom stuff. I don't know why this bin is in here, but this stuff is mostly bathroom stuff and it's quite a bit. So I'm just going to need to be very efficient with how I organize everything. How many times can I say efficient? The bathroom doesn't have the best lighting. So I bought these lights that I want to put around here. I just need to set those up but let's talk about how i want to organize these drawers last night i did this which i'm really happy with so these are all the products that i use like all my skincare products i have deodorant that stuff is just easy to reach so i like that there in here i'm thinking i want it to be more organized obviously things that i reach for a lot like my hairbrush or scissors or q-tips and that kind of stuff here i'm thinking i want to do my makeup product i kind of just threw this stuff in there but i think i want to put my makeup stuff in here and then maybe hair care stuff in here. I don't really know what I want to put in this one. I think maybe on Amazon Prime Day, I might want to get one of those organizers that you can spin. I don't know if that makes any sense. Kind of like a turntable for some of my hair care products so I can easily reach them. This is what we have. So I was thinking of doing like a hair shelf. So I have like my Dyson Airwrap, I have curler, straightener, and then I have some product back there. I'm just afraid with like product shove back there that I'm not gonna remember I have it. Like I was saying, there's like turntable organizers. Maybe I'll get one of those, maybe I won't. I don't know. And then up here, I have these washcloths that I use to wipe my face off every night when I wash my face. I'll have my jewelry here, I need to set that up. I don't think I wanna keep this here. Most of this that's in here is medicine. I should probably go through that because it looks like it's overflowing. This is a bunch of makeup and skincare and stuff that I have for giveaways. So if I ever get products in the mail that I wanna do a giveaway with, I put them all in there. But I sell a lot of stuff. I forgot that most of the stuff that was in here was like my Cricut and Easy Press, which I think I'm gonna store under my bed if it will fit, fingers crossed. So I'm realizing that there isn't that much stuff. I really need to organize this this looks really bad <laughs> and then i'm gonna start organizing my makeup and everything that's all the makeup that i have for here and then i have some makeup brushes in there i think maybe i'll do a shelf of like body care like lotions and maybe body care and skincare. i don't know we'll see but i think i'm gonna take a break and eat some food because i'm pretty hungry right now I just knock something over so it's food time <laughs> really random lunch. I have broccoli and these are chicken meatballs from Trader Joe's. But if I'm being honest, I have mozzarella sticks in my freezer. They're like the frozen Trader Joe's ones. I might pop them in the air fryer. It's like a dessert or even like an addition to this meal because I'm kind of craving those as well. But I'm going to eat this and then we'll get back to unpacking and everything. But I've been doing it for a couple hours. It's one o'clock right now and I think I started... When did I start? I don't know. Update, I am doing the mozzarella sticks. This is a slay. I'm gonna eat this and then procrastinate unpacking some more. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back to the bathroom to start to finish unpacking, but I wanted to give you guys a few updates just because I wanna keep you in the loop. I was talking about how this light bulb, this one right here, was out, and they're not regular light bulbs, like they're not bulbs. It's something with wires and electricity. They finally changed it. Look, they, like this is what it looked like. There's all these wires. I was like, oh, I can just buy a light bulb and change it myself. There's no, you have to like change the whole thing and rewire it. No. So the maintenance guy came and they fixed it. They also fixed my water. I was having issues where I did not get any hot water at all. So I was taking freezing cold showers and it's not like, oh, refreshing cold shower. It was like, no ice bath, Antarctica, freezing cold water. And as it turns out, let me show you. There's a little switch in the electricity panel right behind here. I don't really understand it. He showed it to me and I pretended like I understood what was going on, but I didn't. How do I open this? What? Why won't it open? Pause. I mean, I don't really know why I'm wanting to show you guys this because it doesn't do anything, but... 
Okay, now it's locked. Anyways, there's a switch that turns on to give you hot water. They didn't turn it on. This is a new apartment complex, so apparently they have it all off before people move in here, and then they turn it on before people move in. They didn't turn it on. But like, why won't this open though? Shouldn't it? Did he lock it? I don't feel like you can lock this. I, this can't be that hard. Like, this is like a safety thing, right? Like, shouldn't I be able to have access to this? Like, I'm thinking it's like you're just like, what? Whatever, it's not important. I give up. So they came and they fixed those things, which I'm so happy about. There's a couple things I need to buy for this apartment that I'm thinking of waiting until Prime Day, but it's kind of annoying waiting until Prime Day. I think Prime Day might have passed by the time this video goes up. Ignore the rest of the boxes that I have going on here, but I need to buy a trash can. My last apartment came with a trash can, so I don't own one. And then I need to get bar stools because I've been having to eat all my meals on my couch. And I have a white couch, so it's very risky to be eating all my meals on my couch. There's also other stuff that I need to buy, but I'm trying to think. I have like an ongoing going Amazon list. I might have said this already. I think I want to buy a new one of these because this is too long this way and it's just kind of weird having it like this. So I think I might buy a new silver holder. Break is over. We are back in the bathroom and let's do some unpacking. My issue with this is I don't know exactly how I want to organize it and I want it to be perfect. But part of me again is thinking maybe I should just put stuff in it, live in it for a little while and then figure out how I want to do it. How I want to organize it. I don't know. I think my issue is I want everything to be perfect right off the bat and that's just not going to happen. So that's stopping me from really doing anything. Because if it's not perfect, I don't want to do it, but I can't do it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to start putting things in there and we'll figure it out as we go. not my best work. I don't really know how I want to lay all this out. So I was thinking like body care, skincare, but I don't know. I have this bin right here that I kind of regret what I did. I put a bunch of products that I don't use on a daily basis in there and maybe I should have them displayed because maybe I won't remember that they're in there and use them. I don't know. I still need to move some of this stuff around too. I'm just not obsessed with how I set everything up, but I'll get over it. <laughs> I'll figure it out as I go. Perfectionism is the death of me. But the way I set it up, you guys have to agree. Like that's not, that was not it. <laughs> I'll figure it out. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything, everything's fine. We'll start working on the vanity. Wipes. I'm gonna put these away back there and then I have some razors. I'm gonna put these in the shower and then I think my bathroom will be done I'll show it to you guys when I'm done are you guys ready for the bathroom tour? So when you walk in, we have our shower. There's a few things that I need to buy for this bathroom, which I'll tell you guys about. In this back wall, this is where we just came from. I wanna put some hooks back here. I have some hooks, I just need to put them up. But I wanna put my towels that I'm using, so like this towel. I also have my little bathrobe right here, so I wanna put those up behind the door so I can have this be more decorative. I would also like to have like some kind of art or like something over here, but that's a thing for another day. I put my little shower caddy thingy up with all my shower products in here. And then we are over here, oh, this. So I have this extra shower head. I have it down there that I used in my last apartment. It's like a rainfall shower head. But I think I might like the shower head that came with this apartment more. So I'm just going to keep it just to have it. And if I decide to change it, and then if I don't decide to change it, I'll just give it to Goodwill or something. I have all my skincare in here, like I showed before. This one, just some random stuff that I reach for pretty frequently. 
this one's my makeup and then I have some like makeup remover wipes back there I think I'm gonna put like one of those no slip mats on this so it doesn't slide around I don't have anything in here you know I might put maybe my hair tools in there I don't know I wonder if my Dyson will fit and then down here one thing that's weird about this is there is no like little ring or anything for a hand towel to like wash my hand or wipe my hands after I wash them I put this up this is from Target and then this is that little cabinet here it's still a work in progress I'll show you guys the closet as well I do have my little travel backpacks and stuff that I need to put inside my suitcase. They're just on the ground, but eventually I'll take the suitcase down and put those inside of it as well. But this is what the closet looks like. I'm so grateful. This is such a huge closet. Really happy with how this turned out. Love, 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 love. Those will go in the cabinets up in there. I need to do that really quickly. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it all. I just went through my bedroom really quickly. I had like two small boxes of random stuff. So I emptied out this one and then that one right there mainly had like pillows and blankets and things like that. And then just some random stuff. I still need to put stuff away in this desk but i was putting stuff away oh i don't have anything in there oh i have an sd card in there curious to see what's in there i was just putting away like some books and stuff like that on this side the other side i also put away like some technology like chargers and stuff in there we're making pretty good progress though i have a box filled with like pillows and blankets and stuff so i'm gonna put that away it's not gonna look nice but i don't really care i'm gonna throw these pillows on here there we go <laughs> I think that might be what I'm gonna do for the rest of today. I'll probably have one, maybe two more moving vlogs because I still have some more decor, like of another box that I want to unbox and like kind of decorate this place more. And then I want to do some more like organization and kind of make it better perfect. But that'll probably be in another one because I'm feeling a little tired from today. But I hope that you guys like this video. I have a bunch of other moving vlogs. If you guys are interested in seeing those, I'll link them down below. But I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.